Hello everybody and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy. My name is Dogbite and before we get into this I just want to say thank you very much to everybody for watching during the Fortnite of Fright. Um, I had a great time making all that stuff and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. There were a couple of new people that joined the channel which was kind of the idea behind it so I'm glad that you guys are here to welcome. Um, yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure that I've fixed the audio issues with this game. Um, if I haven't, then I will keep trying, but, um, for the past few episodes, I have been kind of, like, drowned out, um, by the game, and for the first few episodes, I wasn't, and I'm not really sure what changed, but here we are. <laughs> um, anyway, I am proper looking forward to getting back into this game. In the last episode, we were at The Rock. Um, which is a Nova Corps outpost, and we found that the Nova Corps like, officers had been um, manipulated or sort of taken over by some weird force um, that they were calling the Promise. Or they were, they were trying to spread something called the Promise as well. Um, and we escaped the rock, and we are currently on our way to nowhere, which um, I'm looking forward to. <laughs> um... Before that, before we went to the rock, we also pretty much just tried to scam this crazy monster lady that really wanted to 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 get down and dirty with Drax at some point. But um, yeah, <laughs> I had to turn the music settings down because um, he kept playing Quill kept playing music whilst I was talking during this opening. So I'm gonna quickly turn that back up, and then I'm gonna hit load game, and we are gonna get back into this right away. Peter Quill, hmm. what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Alright, so let's get right back into this. As you can see, we still have this <laughs> stupid fucking llama that Rocket hates and frankly does my head in. Maybe but, we should um, check other Nova Corps stations to see if they're all right. You want to it's check out wanting me to interact, but not. We should avoid making the rodent angrier. Why? Yeah. He's cute when he's angry. It gives me a button, but it's not letting me actually press anything to interact with him. Same as with Drax. Uh, right. I'm sorry, Drax. Drax has I glasses. Paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. <laughs> Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Nova Corps has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Nova Corps if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Nova Corps officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was at a punk gig the other day. And well, I believe seriously? my throat hurts from it. Just make it fast, okay? Oh, have I got any upgrades I can get? I've got these. Well, Rocket, it looks like you're gonna get your wish. That's it is done. fast. Um, Thank Flark. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't like us at the minute. He's mad because we got the llama and the llama ate up the communications array, and like, yeah, it's just not a great time. But it looks pretty fixed. It looks like it's working. But oh well. Um. Hey, uh, guys. <laughs> What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. <laughs> uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on. I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. That's a huge chunk what of his hair missing. Ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Leave us alone, Quill. Oof. Alright, well, this is my room. Which... I can check myself out in the mirror. But we are gonna go... Ahead and I must fly admit, to nowhere. I fear for the crew of the Hallows Hope. You think Corral would have let those lunatics board her ship? She 
was not at her post when we so those coordinates uh. they're in your console yeah she was kind of missing nowhere here we come oh there's like a huge crack in our windshield here <laughs> um for anybody who's recently joining please feel free to go back and check out the other episodes but the music in this game um, does not like working properly in streamer mode, which you can see at the top, which I can't remove from the screen. Um, but it's just to save me from having to mess around with uh, copyrighted music. Whoa! Ah, nowhere. That was a weird glitch. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best <laughs> black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. <laughs> they wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. <laughs> along with noodles. Ooh. But yes, here we are on Nowhere. And, um... Are you certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? This place looks of awesome. Of course! He's chief of security. <laughs> and Nowhere. <laughs> And as such, probably deals with Novacor all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to oh. know about the rock. Cosmo's a he. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. <laughs> Shenanigans and Tom See you never, flark bags. Ah, they're deserting. Brilliant. <sighs> a rocket and Groot. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like oh. it. Do we know oh, where they fucking went? Fucking fridge. You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Wait, so if they've left, does this work? You require the rodent to use ah. the workbench. No. Okay, cool. Although it put Gra Drax over there rather than down here. So, Drax. Armor? Oh, I can talk to Try it. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Okay. Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Who are you talking to, Drax or the Lama? Do you believe the abomination is left for good? Yes, you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. Ooh. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. What do you think, Amor? At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, see you later. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Sounds good to me. Alright. Just have to double check that I was actually recording. <laughs> I haven't actually made any notes this, this session, which I should. You think Cosmo will actually believe us? Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll hmm. even give us a reward. Alright. Let's, uh... Head around. Hello. Okay. Oh, so there's like a move along sort of situation. Wow, the Milano is way bigger than I thought. Where'd he get the units to afford anything? I do not expect him to pay his tab. I can't wait to see the rent. Is it sorry? Eventually consume us all? All right, there's plenty to find out about on here. That was a great vacation. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come oh. back? You could apologize. That's not even gonna advice. let me listen to stuff. Apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But <laughs> if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. All right. Let's... Anyway. Put the visor on and look around. What's happening out there? We'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Oh, whoa! I didn't even see this thing. Cool. We could still pay the fine, but we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's got to be someone shady enough in the market. Welcome to nowhere. The Cosmo deals with Nova Corps all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. <laughs> Whoa. That wasn't even near you. I can fight you. We've circled back to that 
bad name, have we? <laughs> it's a statement of fact. You are by trade an assassin. And you're a convicted serial killer. Where do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Wow. Really? An eye? Come on. It looks like a Pokeball. That's cool. What's hey this there. guy want? I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? It's straight through the market. You can't miss it. Huh, cool. He was actually helpful. I thought he was going to be an arsehole. Um, let's look around. Oh, my rocket boots aren't working. Oh well. Alright, cool. Oh. There we go. Cool. Um, yeah, I hope you all had a great Halloween. It's, um, it's been a long few weeks setting up for the Fortnite fright. And I'm glad to get back into a regular recording schedule. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? <laughs> nope, he met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave, if it befits them. Anyway, <laughs> Cosmo sniffed out a scheme me and Yondu had cooking. He threatened to throw the both of us in jail. I've heard he keeps things on a pretty tight leash. <laughs> he does. But it turns out we're both from Earth, so he gave me a second chance. <laughs> Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. Oh, they have boy. fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. They won't shut up, and everybody else is trying to talk to me as well. Why would you design that as part of your fucking game? What do you want? I sort of first get away from you. That's a fortune tower. Alright. I actually get to talk to this person. What? I couldn't tell which one it was because these fucking idiots wouldn't shut up. I think they're counting on that. Do you mind? You're making me uncomfortable. Your planetary chakras are very unaligned. <laughs> Alright, what's this one? Oh no, I'm so glad you arrived. We've been waiting. We need your help. Oh, you need our help. <laughs> you must be mistaken. I'm doing great. Alright, let's let's try and not get fucking mugged at all. unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. You are his adopted daughter. Oh wow. Nexus. Nexus, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? <laughs> no. <laughs> and you Jesus. thought running a team would be bad for you. <laughs> Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. <laughs> I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? <laughs> Idea. Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm. No, 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 no. It's not. That <laughs> fucking suit oh. just poking out. No, he's lying. I mean, oh. Where the cold heart is, he wrote. The broken promise of all will be mended. She is way less weird in the films. But, you know, here we are. <laughs> Mantis? You okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. <laughs> yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? 
You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're gonna keep making mad face. Who does he remind me of? It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> so, Gamora, that was you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest Ooh. thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover <laughs> or paperback? I just met yeah. Mantis mentioned a few oh, things. Jesus. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. I didn't send <laughs> <words. laughs> this guy. Oh, okay. Well, this one wasn't. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does anyway. I'm looking around for like costumes and stuff, and people to talk to. I wonder if his head hasn't collapsed in on itself yet. That is probably true, actually. Oh, there's a bar. That's cool. I am lagging the fuck out at the minute. Hey. Hi, Groot. Rocky, <laughs> just ignore me. We gotta talk about this. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Well, we found him. What did Mantis say to you? Nothing of consequence. Your face tells a different story. <clears throat> I need to leave. Oh. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. And Gamora just bug it off in the background as well. Watch it, Star Lord. Watch yourself, jerky red guy. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah. Uh. Gamora. Yeah, Gamora left us off. But we found Rocket and Groot. So go talk to Cosmo alone. Yeah, that's probably the best plan, though. In fact, you can probably help me find them. Okay, cool. Oh, does that mean, like, trying to use my guns by accident? D-Class Speeder, short-range speeder vehicle, minimal galactic thrust, not recommended for space travel. Okay, cool. Alright, let's, um... Seem like a crazy person's collection rather than a museum. The collector is on nowhere. What's oh, cool. Let's um. What is this? Oh, yeah, it was me accidentally using my guns again. Wormhole waste receptacle. Keep no way clean. Do not stick appendages in can. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's three card Monty. Oh, like the cup game. Let's go. Afternoon, Captain Todd. Are the midway? Ready to try your luck, or is it skill? Couldn't be simpler. Find the bow, win the Piraeus. Ooh, I actually have like a, a unit count. I have twelve oh three seven. Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no grab, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I Ooh. can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up to move. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Yeah, let's play. Fine, I'm in. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain. Not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now right. keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. It's in the middle cup, right? Uh, the middle one. Yeah, nice. Well, be, you got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, congratulations. Oh, I bet 25. Cool. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See? My Yo! He gave me a thousand. The game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as a tack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Uh, you know what? No. Uh, I better not. I'm not feeling very lucky right now. My team, my friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, <laughs> but I can offer you a bit of destruction. Yeah, okay. No, we're not going to play that again. Um... <laughs> um... 
could have sworn the ball was under the cup of pigs. Ah, so they lost their money. We are hiring on the mining rigs. If you're looking for work, someone's Is he a scroll? I mean, that's a scroll in the background, right? Huh. <laughs> Alright, well, why don't we... It is the Collector's Emporium, and there's the Collector. Wow. What a nose. Alright, let's actually see what's going on in this place. Oh, whoa, that's just someone smashed in there, huh? Welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler. Have arrived at the Elasteria Symporium, private collection of Tanalir Tivan. Wait, I put 25 down and I won a thousand, but I didn't get my 25 back. I have 13012 now. But not Mr. Tivan. Not 13037. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, you, you like to take them to the Emporium? You know what? Yeah, let's take the if it's half as good as you say it is, it'll be worth the use. Five thousand! Oh, you'll see, it's better, better, better than you could ever imagine. Enjoy yourself, and please refrain from tap, tap, tapping on the exhibit's glass. Fuck, I didn't see the five thousand in the corner until it left my account. Fuck me, I need seven thousand to buy my fucking... Greatest collection of gifts in... Fine. Jesus. Or pay my fine, rather. What is this place? You have stumbled into the one. How the hell am I supposed to pay fifty thousand for something? Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objedar, in other words. Figures. Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. Yeah. A boorish person might call them dolls. <laughs> but that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. <laughs> not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant what and tough. The fuck but is going I think on? maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah. <sighs> I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? Okay, right. That, what is that thing? In the middle. Because, like, the doll is, like, the thing I would get Gamora, right? How am I supposed to afford 50,000? That is crazy. And 15,000 for that. I only made it to 13,000. It cost me five grand to get in here. Fuck. I mean, if I get her the doll, I hope I can actually it's afford to right still pay the fine at a later point. At a later point. Magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah. yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Still wondering what that blue thing actually is. So, I paid for entry, so I can actually walk down here. New Guardian collectible found you, Kalana collects Emporium dog. Gamora might have something interesting to say about it back on the Milano. Okay. Fancy. Ah. Richard Ryder's Nova helmet. Oh, it actually has, like, readable shit at the bottom. That is, like, really... Really fucking small, though. Wow. Um, huh, what else? Interesting. Ah! Ultimate Nullifier. Oh yes, the most destructive weapon in the entire universe, and I have it. Oh, so it's a weapon? That thing? The SRA, with a map of the Dude, US on the front? Superhuman Registration Act. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm just like looking around this until it. the end of the episode now. <laughs> You don't get it? It's the Sword of Heimdall. Ah, cool. 
Um, no way. Tony Stark's glasses. That? See your relic before you're in luck. Occasionally. What? A pair of lenses manifest. Oh, maybe shoulder. So they're like teleporting glasses? Question mark? Kinda What's this? Neat. Oh, is these Yondu's arrows? Yeah, the Yaka arrow. Rare Centurion weapon. Yeah, these are the things that Yondu uses. That's cool. It's a nice little nod to the film. So that's been stolen. Hmm. That's not good. The Brood Queen. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Oh, it's a cool. tiny Mjolnir. It's Frog Mjolnir. Oh wow! It's Frog Thor's Mjolnir. That's brilliant. Is this a Book of Ashanti? Oh, cool. No, Caligostro's. Oh, Cagliostro's book. All right. Cool. There's a lot of like stuff from. This is Mojo's chair. Kind of neat. Oh no, Kang's time chair. Cool. Why does the collector have that? Wow. That's pretty awesome. There's a lot of stuff here that like relates to obviously a bunch of different bits of Marvel, and I'm super stoked. Like I would read through it all on the video, but like. The video is nearly over, and I kind of just want to go through these things. You can look up the items if you really want to. I think, and like, because I'm planning on doing a personal playthrough of this game after this, where I can have the music on and stuff, um, and collect all the costumes. I think I'm gonna gonna go through Dude, it all no in a way. lot more depth then, because so I don't think I actually paid for the ticket for this the first time. Wait, what? There's an eyeball that doesn't have... Oh, it actually gives me a fucking... God damn it. This oversized orb is plucked... Is the plucked eye of a watcher. Wow. Those things... I thought they had bigger eyes than that. That's cool. Oh, wow, the Tesseract? I don't get it. Cosmic Cube would... Bend reality itself to make it so, and perhaps the most important part of my collection is I have used it to secure each of my artifacts in protective pocket realities. You may look, but you have no hope of ever touching. I do not wish more for I do not wish more from it because it whispers to me with the voices of past owners, including one of particularly infernal temperament. I am content to admire it from afar. Uh -huh. And that's a Fancy. sick ass looking knife. Blade of Ecor. Blades of Ecor is more appropriate. The scripture since the divine weapon can be divided or reconfigured into multiple lethal instruments due to its divine liquid metal core. Wow. Before I was able to procure them, they were wiel wielded by an angel from heaven. Heaven. Yeah, I read it as heaven and then it was wrong but right. Or was she an Asgardian, queen of hell? One thing is clear. Aldrif Odin's daughter. Angela, for short. <laughs> Use the blades of Ecor to sever countless limbs from s sinners and heathens across the galaxy. She would not hesitate to claim my own limbs, should she not, should she and her weapons be reunited. Oh. Huh, what are these? Interesting. Mandarin's rings. Wow. Seriously? The ten rings. And then. No way. The monster from Planet that? X. I used to be in position of the planet's last flora colossi. The sole survivor of planet X has destruction. The enormous plant creature called itself Groot, often. Oh. During its escape, I was able to sever and retain a small piece of its wooden body. You can, s you may see a simple sprout. I see the potential to regrow my lost prize, though he will be far less precious than the original running loose. Wow. So this Groot used to be like trapped here. Oh, it's one of those no stones. Way. A raptor amulet. Strange fruit. From the Tree of Shadows in Null Space. Use these mysterious amulets to swap their biological bodies for cybernetic ones. With these sleek battle suits, the raptors were gifted with rapid interstellar travel, extreme strength, resilience, regeneration, and destructive energy blasts. I am told that it will also tune you into a data song, a type of shared consciousness. Oh. I do not like to share, so the amulet remains safely on display. This is cool. Oh, is this, um... No, it's not Loki's helmet. Snowbird's tiara. Cool. 
Just gonna flick through the past few of these. What the fuck is that? Kinda neat. Fire Lord's Cosmic Staff. Oh. Burning with the intensity of a solar flare at each end. The artifact channels the power cosmic and was originally wielded by a hot headed herald of Galactus. Ah. Oh. Its former owner, Fire Lord, once scouted the galaxy for World Devourer's next meal. At some point, they must have had a falling out because I was able to procure this gorgeous implement of destruction for the low price of an entire planet. I would have gone as high as three. Wonderful. Hey, look, it's Frog Thor! Oh, cool! Or Frog. Frog of Thunder. You might think this is the God of Thunder transformed into a frog, but it's actually a frog transformed into the God of Thunder, one of the several gods of thunder, to be precise. To be precise. This tiny fellow quacks, packs quite a punch, matched only by its thunderous croak. Captured after decimating the entire Badoon fleet with one throw of his mighty hammer, Frog Yolnir. I selfishly bailed him out of prison and found him a permanent home here in my collection. If he tells you otherwise, do not listen, as guardians are known for their devilish pranks. Oh, really? I like that he's just fucking frozen like that, though. Not even, like, moving. And then we've got this oh, thing. Interesting. The Hyde Formula. Terran mind is capable of exceptionally brilliance. Take Calvin Zabo, for example. Through chemistry, Zabo believed he could push push the human body beyond its accepted limits and create his potent serum. Upon imbibement, his muscular musculature rapidly expanded, enabling his brutish older ego, Mr. Hyde. To hold his own against some of Earth's greatest champions, Zabo now wastes away in a Terran prison, but I wasn't going to let his serum go to waste as well. Oh. Cool. And then there's the shop, and... Hello. I do hope, 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 you enjoyed the Emporium. Be sure to come back soon, as you never, never, never know what you might find. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, I am going to, um, head off towards Cosmos Tower, if I can find the thing. What is this? This is something I can interact with. It's the lottery. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to call it there. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. It's uh, good to be back in Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, that was a fun little romp around nowhere, but I will definitely uh, head straight to Cosmos next time unless something super interesting comes up. Um, maybe play the lottery first, I don't know. We'll have to see if I can actually win because I'm I'm gonna need the money to pay the fine because the fine was seven thousand and I had thirteen and now I have six because of that stupid doll which in fact no it was the absurd price of the collector's thing I'm pretty sure I could have bought the doll without the collector's thing but yeah at least I didn't get like pickpocketed or scammed or anything I was I had a feeling that that brain was gonna scam me if I did that twice. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad I got out of there with the 1,000, well, 975 that I, I got away with. <laughs> Alright. Um, all of that being said, don't forget to like this video. Go ahead, leave a comment, and let me know why you liked it. My voice is going, so I'm going to take a drink of water. <clears throat> Ah, not really sure what was going on there. Um, and of course, make sure you hit subscribe so you can catch the rest of this. And um, any any other series, I've got something pretty cool coming out um, Tuesday, next week. Um, and it's a game that I've been wanting to play for a while, and I finally got around to it. Um, and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this as much as I do. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching. I've been Dogbite. Don't forget to check out the Fortnite Fright. It's all on my channel right now if you're still in a Halloween mood. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.